fireplace, of course. There's a private bedchamber for Caroline. George II would have visited her here too, and they were both known to have a sec healthy sexual appetite. Caroline had many children. Well, they just collected the headsets, so I can't give you a, a dialogue of what the gardens are all about, but I wanted to step out into the gardens and stroll through this magnificent series of fountain blue-like gardening absolutely gorgeous. This is definitely a rival to the Fountain Blue Gardens. Look at the sculpture of these trees here. Beautifully cut all the way down. Same amount of height off the, off the grass. Some pretty birds in here. Sort of a gray raven with a black front beak and skull cap on. I'll scan the trees again down into the fountains. A series of fountains. This thing goes for another hundred yards down to the next series. Flowers. Something Hampton Court. I think people give you a sense of height. The tree is probably five feet. I mean, the leaves are five feet off the ground, but look at the size of this trunk. Probably six feet across. I'm just sitting on the edge of the garden. I'm going to get another look at the Hampton Court itself. With an arcade up on the top. There's the ornament over the, the door. This rear entrance into the gardens, I guess you would call it. It's pulling on my shoulder here. This is called the clock court, and Folk is going to tell me the story of the fountain right now. Look at me and tell me the story. The fountain, I just read that. <laughs> the fountain was a water fountain, but under one of the kings, whichever, he made it a wine fountain. You're kidding. There was more wine pouring out of it? Yeah. Probably Henry VIII. One he of was, them. He was crazy. And here, here's a good view of the chimney stacks, very <laughs> intricately designed brickwork on the ch chimneys here in this section. Isn't that amazing? Look at these chimneys. They're works of art. I like Hampton Court better than Windsor Castle. Where are your guards? Hey, sorry. You have no guards with you? I don't need them, sir. I'm amongst friends, am I not? Oh. Really? But you have your weapon, you just in case. Just decoration, sir. Just okay. Okay. Where are you from, sir? United States, Atlanta, Georgia. The Americas. Americas. Well, you're Spanish then. Good to see you. <laughs> okay, we were Spanish. In then. my time, yeah. everywhere that was in the New World, that was discovered in the New World, was given to Spain by the Pope. He arbitrated between the Spanish oh, and the God. Portuguese. Portuguese got the East Indies, the Spanish the West Indies. So, in America, you have your own king, which is Carlos, the King of Spain. He was very, very, very... Um, well, very powerful because he's also been elected the Holy Roman Emperor. Really? He caused me a lot of problems. Yeah, yeah he, wouldn't, he wouldn't give you a divorce, right? Well, he was the one who stopped the Pope giving yeah. him a divorce right. because he had sacked Rome and the Pope was scared of him. <laughs> do you, and do Charles you, just happened to be Catherine's nephew. Do you know the origin of why they call it a cod's piece? Oh, yeah. Yes, because it covers the cod. Covers the cod. <laughs> what a beautiful... Look at his ermine. ermine. You want to take a picture with them, Paul? No. No. Sure. In front of us. Now these exhibits sometimes are very controversial. Some of them are very modern. Some of them are very traditional. We had a lovely ship in a bottle at one time. But this is now here. He's on our left-hand side now. You can see the ticker tape going round, and it's a live link with the, with the stock exchange. So it's, the know, it's, it's ticker tape going around that difficult to interpret it, but it's obviously, I think, an indication of the, the importance of uh, the finance industry here in London. Of course, we have the, the skeleton of the horse, Mountains. too. But it's different. Lions. Definitely a talking point. Just here, we're very close to the point which is considered to be
Horatio Nelson, victor at the Battle of Trafalgar in 1804. He's facing south along Right Hall towards Portsmouth, where his fleet was based. Nelson's tomb is to be found in the crypt of St. Paul's Cathedral in the city of London. He was transported back to London pickled in vinegar after the Battle of Trafalgar where he was fatally injured. But uh, this is designed by Gibbs, the National Gallery 19th of Arts. century church. Right behind Trafalgar Square, Nelson's statue. Walking bridge over the Thames there. Moved to newer premises close to Victoria, so a little bit further across town. But they're coming back, they're coming back to their original home very shortly. It's at Scotland Yard. Another cabbage shelter here on the left. They're all equipped with fully functioning kitchens. And from Egypt, there are the two sphinxes facing the wrong direction. They should be facing outwards apparently. Good view of Waterloo Bridge, the Ladies' Bridge. Here goes Folke up the steps. Folke is going up the steps of the most famous bridge in the world, it says here. Tower Bridge, and right next to it is a little statement about dead man's hole. You can stop the tape and read that. We're going up to the Tower Bridge exhibition up on this way, too. Nice. opposite end of the bridge and the steps I'm coming up. And here our hotel named the Guaman Hotel, the Tower Hotel, is framed by the opposite end of the bridge. The Tower Bridge is not that long. And there comes the lady over the bridge. I think she was just taking some Germans pictures there. Busy bridge, busy river. There's our hotel, another view of the hotel. Very nice. And there's the boat we're going to be on tomorrow when we go down to the eye. That's the one. That's the one. That's called the clipper. These, it says clipper right on the end of the boat in orange. Aurora Clipper, London. There's no sight, there's no verbiage on that. It's just a taxi, a river taxi for about seven or eight pounds. It's not cheap, but it's very fast. Yeah, we just crossed over the river. That's one end of the bridge. And that's the upper walkway that I guess you can walk across. I'll zoom in on the spot above us. And now everybody can see, especially Andrews, that's the arrow on the FedEx truck. And there's Folka waiting for Rolls Royce to pick her up to continue this tour. And the other end of the bridge, we're going over the last extension of the Thames River. And we'll go through that and we'll look for a place for dinner tonight. Well, that's London's new City Hall building. And right in front of it says London's Riviera. And guess what the Riviera consists of? Lounge chairs. Looks like a Jimmy Buffett kind of place. They're drinking all kinds of uh, Jimmy Buffett drinks. And there's, what do you call those birds? Um, can't think of what I was trying to remember. And I'm going to scan over to the bridge again. We just had a delicious... I just had a delicious piece of lamb, leg of lamb, or sliced leg of lamb, and it was outstanding.
Yeah, we'll be taking.